Hi, I'm Richard Butler from DPReview.com and I'm here today, well outside my comfort zone, vlogging with the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. The ZV-E10 Mark II is the company's second generation APS-C vlogging camera. It's built around the faster 26 megapixel sensor that we saw in the A6700. This means it can now shoot 4K at up to 60p and doesn't show the significant rolling shutter that its predecessor did. The Mark II can shoot 10-bit video and includes Sony's S-Cinetone profile that I'm using here. You can also upload LUTs to the camera, which can be used for previewing or directly applied to the footage if you're shooting in S-Log. There's still no in-body image stabilization, so you'll have to rely on whatever stabilization the lens offers, as I'm doing here. Alternatively, you can add digital active stabilization, but this applies a 1.33 times crop, which means the widest end of the kit zoom suddenly zooms in to a 32 mil equivalent field of view, which is quite tight for vlogging. That kit lens has now been updated, with Sony saying that the 16 to 50 mm Mark II is now capable of focusing as it zooms, which the old version wasn't. It's also meant to be better at communicating stabilization information between the lens and the body, which should improve performance. However, the optics, which weren't the best part of the existing lens, are unchanged. While it has a lot in common with the A6700, Sony seems to have been careful to make sure it can't be used as a cut price alternative to that camera. There's no electronic viewfinder for a start, no stabilization, and also no mechanical shutter, which means that rolling shutter might be an issue with fast motion. It's also lost one of its command dials, which means it's much more fiddly to operate for stills. On the plus side, it does get the larger Z100 style battery from the A6700, and battery life does seem pretty good. The ZV-E10 II includes a series of modes to make solo vlogging that bit easier. So for instance, there's product showcase mode that overrides face detection and prioritizes objects held up in front of the camera. But what it doesn't have is auto framing that crops in and follows a recognized subject around the frame to give your shots that bit more dynamism. Oh well. We'll be testing these features and the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II in a lot more detail when we can get a production copy into the DP Review Studios. But until then, you can use the comments to tell me where I'm going wrong.